as we gear up, Alex, for our final two big names with reputations larger than life at this point, <laughs> Tyler Smith and Phil Folsom. These are the ones to watch. Alex, let's get stuck into it with Tyler Smith. It is finally time to see Tyler Smith back on the World Ninja League course for the first time since that historic run in Greensboro and wasting absolutely no time on these laches. Let's see how his balance is. He made history just a few short months ago. and Oh, wow, just history. gliding across it. So, yes, they have balance. I was a little bit worried on that drop check, a little bit of a fumble, but he made his way through. And this is by far the fastest time we've seen all weekend to this last obstacle. Yeah, Tyler Smith showing us why he is this world champion. If he can get this final grab, Alex, this is... Woo! For the first time in months, Tyler Smith unblemished at the world championship, but going out on that yo-yo, a stunning upset. Once again, showing us that even the best of the best can be taken out on an obstacle like this. It has taken out competitors all weekend. And Tyler Smith is yet another victim of that obstacle. Coming up next is the world champion Tyler Smith. Now, we didn't have any vertical limit style obstacles on stage three this year. But right, Tyler go, Smith three, has basically two, everything one, in his arsenal. Go. We will see if vertical limits are among them. I would hope so, as our world champion, as someone who has broken and made history. Tyler Smith is definitely someone who is more than capable of moving through this course and getting a completion. You know, we saw him in that interview earlier today. He had his mind set on the last obstacle, Alex. So I think the cliffhanger is just one step in helping him to get to those final obstacles and getting this course completion. As we, Tyler now dares to do what no elite competitor has done yet, which is beat these vertical limits. Well, we have to challenge the elite competitors, and apparently this is no challenge for Tyler Smith, who's skipping limits through three obstacles, through to Ferox. So much more left to do, though. Spider walk up next. Yeah, Tyler just really showing his dominance. You know, we just saw Aiden Moran and Joshua Harris both come out on that obstacle, but Tyler seeming unfazed as if they were just a normal call to him. And we are really seeing our world champion in action here. Didn't need a huge kick. He knew exactly how much he needed to get there. And now we saw that one of the athletes in the teens skipped the double step. And I guess one way to prevent a skip is to put the eyeglass on magnets and make you unhook it <laughs> and hook it back onto those hooks in midair. I remember seeing this. Wait, in the Tyler Smith no. was unable to do. He went too high. He's gone too high. He's done too much. Who would have guessed it? Tyler Smith coming out on that obstacle, but he has mo one more retry. Hopefully that hasn't messed with his mental state too much. You know, the nerves can get to you. It can be a bit of a shock. So hopefully he can recover and keep moving forward. Three, two, Uncharacteristic for Tyler Smith to see him go down twice so far. Again, this young man did what no elite athlete has ever done before in beating all three stages unblemished at the World Championship but gets the eye hammer the second time, and now we will either see the magic trick or go, no, he's gonna go straight for it. Makes the grab, he shimmies down a little bit to get a little bit closer to this hammer. Grabs the back end of the second. Grabs the back end of the third, and Tyler Smith will be moving on to the battery. Now with one minute 30 on the clock, he has three more obstacles to complete. This is going to be a push, Alex, for Tyler to make it through these. But he knows how to do tech. He's an extremely technical athlete, so this should be good for him. And he gets the first one. Now onto the Any second one. Any athlete can do tech. It's anyone out of the barn. So Tyler Smith making the batarangs look easy. Now up to that trolley on a slight incline. So you really need to push this, which he's doing. And hop up to that sideways. And he's got it. And he'll go over this V. It doesn't spin. However, he does have to use these pegs on the way down. 45 yeah, seconds, out reels it in. Watch out, Tyler. Watch your face. And now we get onto the red tubes. He's really going to have to push it here if he wants to complete this entire course. He said he wanted oh, to get to the last obstacle. 
Gonna link the first two. Reels in the platform. 26 seconds left, and we are indeed going to see the VCR. He has to push this forward and have it drop so that he can catch that ledge, which he was Ooh. unable to do. Again, showing our world champion now falling twice and having to use both of his retries on this course. It, again, is a display of just how difficult we have made this premier series here at Modus Ninja. He's going to get a second attempt. Oh, he, he tried to skip. skip. Wasn't able to get it. And Tyler Smith, unable to complete this course, did make it to the very last obstacle just in the nick of time as we take one more look at his excellent run. Well, if an individual who has literally made history by completing all three stages can't even beat this course, it goes to show just how difficult this is, Alex. Tyler Smith, again, throwing down an incredible run, backing up his, his resume and his reputation that is larger than life. And, you know, I think our last two competitors are going to be watching on trying to beat that. There it is! Tyler, Tyler Smith, Smith by a second and a half is going to take the win a successful defense of the title.